Welcome to Slide Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. This is going to be my review on a lot of big NFL news coming up. I mean, it just came out today. Wow. Like I said, while I was doing the Sean Watson video, I was spinning ahead to work, so I didn't get a chance to talk about Ryan Ryan. But first, first and foremost, I'm going to talk about Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan has been traded to the end of his cult for a third round, and I think a sixth round draft pick it was for. So Matt Ryan... The Atlanta era is officially over the 14 years. Matt Ryan had a good career in Atlanta, took the Falcons to the Super Bowl, took it on new heights, especially when Atlanta didn't have nothing when he first came there, how he took Atlanta and made a winning culture, a winning environment. Matt Ryan is officially, of course, gone. It's been, you know, past two years, I think the era of him being the Falcons have been, you know, has tripled down, and I figured it was about time for him to go. So, yes, he is gone. Matt Ryan is officially gone. He's in Napa Colts with a very good roster in Naples with Michael Pittman, Jonathan Taylor. you got a very good defense. Wow, the Colts look very, very nasty right now. Look good. It's going to come down to them in Tennessee who's going to make it. And wow, I just can't, wow. I just cannot, like, wow. Can't wait to see it, boy. Cannot wait to see the Colts win. I mean, Colts see what they do with Matt Ryan, you know. This is Matt Ryan's chance to show that he still got it. And he had a better season than most people give him credit for. He had a, he had a better season than, um, he had a better season pretty much. Better season than Ben Roethlisberger, somebody who's on his way to retirement. So to see Matt Ryan like the way, he, so to see Matt Ryan, you know, on a good team, a very good winning culture, winning environment, I'm interested to see it because I even believe Matt Ryan's a Hall of Famer. A lot of people don't think he is. To be honest, I think he is a Hall of Famer. His numbers and everything like that, you know, I believe he's most definitely is in the running should be talked about a Hall of Famer. And also, he was in one of the, even though it was a the 23 thing, but that still is like one of the best Super Bowls ever, you know played in history so you know regardless of that he he definitely should be in consideration for hall of fame for sure for sure you know and i'm just saying that because i'm from atlanta right here in georgia and you know what i'm saying he played for the falcons but he definitely most definitely should be you know consideration for hall of fame so that was a that's a you know big deal you know atlanta fish has moved on they actually have signed marcus mariota as well the falcons have i don't think mario's a long-term answer he just has history with arthur smith they played together he was in tennessee marcus mario is pretty much a good Average quarterback, you know, he's good as a solid, you know, a solid backup, can win you a couple games. And I think he's just there to play till the Falcons. I think, I don't think they'll draft a quarterback this year because this draft is not heavy of quarterback. But I believe he'll draft a quarterback next year. They'll draft a quarterback next year. Somebody like a Bryce Young. So I believe, you know, the Falcons might win a couple of games, everything like that. But I feel, feel they'll definitely go for a quarterback next year. For sure, for sure. Not this year, but next year. So, wow. Like I said, Matt Ryan's officially been traded from the Atlanta Falcons and up his Colts. Good luck to Matt Ryan. Hope he does well. He finally got himself a good, definitely, definitely good score in Atlanta right now. So I can't wait to see what he does with the Annapolis Colts. And the Falcons, hey, rebuilding time is probably not going to be a good year for us. Let's rebuild. Hey, let's get better. That's how we do it. Let's make it work. Just Cincinnati show with the right draft pick, drafting the right pieces. You can rebuild and get your way all the way up to the Super Bowl. And they're not even done. And they weren't even done quite done rebuilding yet. And look what they did. So I can't wait. So that's right. That's why I, so I can't wait to see what's in store for Atlanta. So Matt Ryan has been traded to Annapolis Colts. Now, a big update has happened. A big news. Tyreek Hill from the Kansas City Chiefs had just been traded to the Miami Dolphins for five draft picks. We don't know the first, second, or third round, but just right. Tyreek Hill from the Kansas City Chiefs has been traded to the Miami Dolphins. Wow. I'm just so shocked. Lee. This is probably, like I said, the biggest NFL free agency I've ever witnessed. I've never seen so many big moves, so many impactful moves. But Tyreek Hill, yes, he's with the Miami Dolphins now. And the Dolphins have just gotten good. They just gotten up there to meet with the Buffalo Bills in their division. You got um, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, Allen Hurts. Now you got Tyreek Hill. You got a good running game. And Miles, Ga Miles Gaskin, them boys. Then you got a good defense. You still got Xavier Howard. I know his contract situation and all that. We don't know yet, but it's like he'll stay. He's going to still be in Miami. Miami still has a couple other good defensive players as well. Wow. This team looks very, very good, especially with the new head coach they got from San Francisco. I feel like, wow, with the new head coach of San Francisco, he gave an incorrect hit, interrogate his offense, I mean, orchestrate his offense. He used in San Francisco to help out Jimmy Garoppolo and all of them almost, to almost get into the Super Bowl. If he can orchestrate that offense with two, with two of our, Ty Loa and all, and all of them, especially when you got a weapon like Tyreek Hill, oh, Miami looks so nasty. Buffalo need to watch out, for sure, for sure. Buffalo almost made it to the Super Bowl last year as well but wow wait, buffalo has a good stout defense they just got even better by getting von miller that big money that six-year deal but wow you got tyreek hill out there that's a weapon now tyreek hill has somebody else in Jalen Waddle, somebody else you got to worry about so man things just shook up a bit 
right now <laughs> in the AF in the AFC East. Wow. Like I said, the Bill and the Patriots, like the Patriots look like they might be the ones that, you know, you're not worried about now because Patriots haven't made quiet moves with no big, you know, big kind of moves. The Patriots still need a legit number one receiver. They do not have a legit number one receiver yet. None of the draft picks have worked out as usual. When they draft receivers, they usually don't work out. And also as well, we don't know. Mac Jones had a good season. He did have a good season. Let's see, can't duplicate that. But New England, like I said, they're always going to be competitive and everything like that. But I don't know. I can't say, you know, are they legit now? Like, I think Miami just got better than them with adding Tyreek Hill. Wow, I'm just in shock. I believe the Chiefs did trade. When I was talking to a friend of mine, they traded Tyreek Hill just because they gave all that money to Patrick Mahomes. So the money, you know, they ain't had no money to give somebody like Tyreek Hill. They just signed Juju smith Juster. So I don't know where to put Kansas City at now, now that they just let go of Tyreek Hill. But wow, so, you know, somebody had to go and be cut loose, and it was Tyreek Hill. You know, Tyreek Hill was next up with that money, so... You know, they had to let him go. So, wow. I'm shocked still, but, hey, you know, it's part of business. So, you know, he wanted a new deal, and they just get that money in my home. Tyreek had to be gone. So, wow. Well, let's do the Kansas City now. Kansas City is going from maybe the best team in the AFC West, maybe, to down at the bottom. Because you got Las Vegas. They just drafted. I mean, they just signed Devontae Adams in this new six-year deal. Denver just got Russell Wilson. And then L.A. Chargers just got Khalil Mack and, and uh, Jackson from New England. So, Wow, this puts maybe put Kansas City at the bottom. And uh, they don't think they're resigning Tyron Matthew as well. So, man, oh, man. Kansas City went from the top team to might be to the bottom team now. Think about it. With their roster now, because, like I said, yeah, Denver and, Sen and Sen Denver, L.A. Chargers and the Denver Broncos, I mean, Denver Broncos, L.A. Chargers, <laughs> and the Las Vegas Raiders have just gotten better what they got. But you got to, oh, man. So, and man, Kansas City, giving all that Mahomes, hey, everything come with a price when you give a quarterback a big deal. That's why Tom Brady always, you know, took less money to help his team get more talent. That's why he went on those, that's why he got on those Super Bowl rings. Always. Tom Brady to this day. He does the same thing in Tampa right now, Tom Brady does. Taking less money to get more talent around him. But wow. Whew. Things just shook up in the AFC. The AFC is looking so dominant. That I think maybe eight teams. You got eight teams out of AFC that can make it into the Super Bowl. Eight of them. Everybody, because everybody look good right now. Miami looks real good right now. Buffalo looks real good. You never know. Like I said, that's still Belichick, the best well, the best coach of all time. So you don't know what he got up his league. But that whole AFC West, all four of those teams, you know, I saw Kansas City at the bottom. You, that's still Patrick Mahomes out there. So you never know. But wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's like I said, I just named you like about five or six teams right there. So you don't know. Then we ain't talking about AFC North. They just got Deshaun Watson. Let's talk about the, one of the biggest moves of all. Got Deshaun Watson. Baltimore has Lamar Jackson. Cincinnati has Joe Burrow. And then, you know, I don't know if Pittsburgh is Super Bowl contender now, but that Pittsburgh has stout defense. You never know. Then you got AFC South, those two teams with Tennessee. And the Colts just got better by getting Matt Ryan, I believe. So, who the AFC is a dog fight. I can't wait. All the AFC games are going to be just tough. They're going to be a dog fight. I think it's going to be a couple, two or three teams and don't even make the playoffs, but they got a winning record because that's how competitive AFC is going to be. To me, the NFC, just like the main two teams you got in the NFC are just what? The Rams and the Buccaneers? Maybe the Cardinals? Went over the Kyler Murray situation. Everything else in the NFC is kind of looking more like wide open, per se, and all that. Because Seattle don't have their – they have a good team, but we don't know their quarterback. Are they going to get Baker Mayfield? Are they winning the Browns to cut him? And then they sign him for lesser money. We don't know. But wow, man, just oh man. Oh man, this like I said, this is the craziest free agent NFL season I've ever witnessed. The most crazy free NFL free agent season I ever witnessed. Wow. Tyreek Hill, yes, it's clarified. Tyreek Hill has been traded to the Miami Dolphins. Came down to Jets and Miami Dolphins. I'm like, he ain't going to New York. You know what they did happen to Le'Veon Bell's career? Le'Veon Bell ain't been the slang since he went to the Jets. Because we don't know the Jets quarterback situation. You know what I'm saying? Zach Wilson, I do believe in Zach Wilson. I believe he can be a good quarterback in this league, but we don't know yet. Miami, like I said, that, that roster in Miami look real tough right now. Like I said, Allen Hurd, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, and Xavier Howard still on defense. They got good pass rushers, and they got a good running game. They just signed Chase Esmond, and you got Miles Gaskin in the running game Miami. And Tua, I believe Tua did have a good season last year. Like I said, this is going to be Tua's time now. It's up to him. He got everything he need now. You got all one of the best receivers in the league. So I believe for sure, for sure, man, <laughs> for sure, for sure, it's all on Tua now with, with Tua having one of the best receivers, top five, to me, arguably the best receiver in the league in Tyreek Hill. So 
I can't wait to see what's up, what's next. So, like I said, the Miami Dolphins have traded, I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs have traded Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins for five, for, for five draft picks. I don't know first, second round what it is, but I just know the Miami Dolphins have received Tyreek Hill for five, for five draft picks. I can't wait. The Dolphins just got better, and the Chiefs may have got a little bit down now to the bottom of their division. But, wow. <laughs> a crazy, crazy free agent NFL season. Once again, this is Slime Me This Sports Slash Hip Hop. Like I said, y'all check me out for it. Like I said, any more big NFL latest news, anything else big that happens, I will update and talk about it on the YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm ecstatic. I'm hyped. I'm loving the free agent season. I can't wait till October of this year for the NFL season. When well, October, I'm tripping. I can't wait till September. I'm tripping. I can't wait till the middle of, in the beginning of September for the NFL season. And all. Boy, boy, it's going to be so, so good. Now have a good day and be blessed. Well, yeah, like I said, once again, this is Slime Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. Like I said, if you like the content, please don't hesitate to hit like, subscribe. Please don't hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button as well. So, like I said, I can't believe it. one of my favorite series, Tyreek Hill, is in Miami now. Y'all have a good day.